boy, you guys ready for more Chris Chan? It's a good time. It's a good time for everybody. We get to watch Quick versus Coass. This is actually a typo that Chris has not fixed. Hi, Tony. Are you feeling better? Notice me, Tony. You get noticed. And no, I'm not. <laughs> you guys don't know, I'm actually, I'm very sick right now. Something at the dining hall of my college did not agree with me. It's very bad. <laughs> so I'm sick. But uh, but it's but it's Christian. We gotta have Christian. So maybe that'll make me feel better. Let's watch Christian do a thing. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, guys. I promise. It'll be a good time. You know. Oh, good. I sure do love PlayStation logos. Please, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Actually, you know, we should get a good look at that. We should get a good look at that. I'm here. I have arrived. Yeah, you have. Uh, so. So if you don't know what point we're at, Chris very much enjoys Skylanders. It's it's right right up Chris's alley. He really loves the idea of buying toys and having those toys interact with his video game, which admittedly is a very cool concept. When the Skylanders franchise first started with the first game, I bought it. I bought it because it was new and I thought it'd be cool. Two weeks after I bought it, don't worry, don't get me wrong, the game was fun. I bought it for my 3DS and I was like, holy fuck, this game's pretty good. Two weeks after that, like, Jesus, they were just, just fucking pumping out these toys, they're all like a zillion dollars. Jesus, it's, it's just too much. This series is just, it's too, it's a cool idea, but it's too goddamn expensive. And it's kind of dying down as of now. Chris is kind of, Chris is weird, he, 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 bat, he latches onto things like, after they're popular, which we'll get to why that's a bad thing. So this is his Skylanders original OC, Christine Weston Chandler. It's him. He made this character. This is how Chris perceives himself. And it's funny. It just looks bad. Oh, or it, listen in there. Authentic jewelry from that time period sounds, sells for millions. <laughs> See, this is embarrassing. As I mentioned, there's a typo here. It says Quick versus Coass instead of Chaos. Now, that's a little bit embarrassing because it fucking says it on the goddamn screen. Christ. When we do art, do I just post it in the Discord chat, Tony? Yes, when we do fan art, you just post it in the, in the Discord, in the fan art channel, when I call for it, and then I'll open it up. Oh, Zen. I don't like that voice on that Skylanders character. I mean, I love that voice on anything, but... What's that in the background? What do you guys hear? What do you guys hear in that background? Besides chaos screaming. The answer is, is it's, it's Pawn Stars. There's, it's Pawn Stars, yeah. Don't you guys love watching Pawn Stars and Skylanders at the same time? And occasionally hearing, I think, Chris coughing in the background. I don't, I don't know. Sounds like his TV. Yep. Tony, how do you feel about the JoJo dub? It's god awful. Don't watch it, please. Man, I was always excited for the Pawn Stars uh, Skylanders crossover. Let me tell you, I. I was really excited to, to play as Big Hoss, you know? Big Hoss is, is my favorite. Is, is, is Daddy playing this game? Oh god, no. No, no. This is not a video game stream. This is a Christian stream, my boy. Christ almighty. Portal Master, grant me magic. Now... My my experience with playing Skylanders 
is very limited. Because I didn't play it on the console, and the console version of Skyland is actually a completely separate game from the 3DS version, so there's actually a, a reason to buy the two different versions. They're actually separate games, at least the, that's how it was for the first game, anyway. So, again, my, my exposure is very limited. But, uh, Chris pretty much just uses, like, one move, and it's that fucking spinny move. I feel like Chris doesn't really know how to play this game, but that's just me. Next Dragon Ball Z Super episode looks really bad. Yeah, it's... Mm. Mm. Oh, that that's actually something we can talk about while Chris just plays this. As goddamn Pawn Stars plays in the background. You know, I'll lower the goddamn volume on Chris here, because you guys don't, you don't need to hear it. It's just Chris playing Skylanders for fuck's sake. Chris is taking a lot of damage there. Yeah, I mean, this is a game for children. And don't get me wrong, like, a game for children can, in fact, be challenging, but... Chris is again using one move? Oh, nope, he used a, a different move there, but it did poop damage. Did he not level his character? Do you have to level his character a lot? Jesus Christ, Pawn Stars in the background. It gets me every time. If I wasn't so sick, I'd probably be laughing my ass off, because this is hilarious. <laughs> you don't play Skylanders ever. What I will say... What I, what I will say is we're going to talk, while Chris plays video games, we're going to talk over what's happened recently in, in the Chris Chan ethos, ethosphere, whatever the right word is. Chris has actually auctioned off on eBay the Sonic Totem. It's a paper mache totem, we've seen it in other episodes. I always thought it was made of, uh, like some sort of clay, you know, that's usually how they do that in schools. But I guess his school didn't have like a kiln, you know? So it's actually made of paper mache. He was selling that, and if you bought it, you would, uh, you'd also get a specialty deal, you know, where you'd, you'd also get some other items. That, that's not important. The important thing is you, you could get his, his Sonichu totem. We'll actually talk about that more. We'll actually get to see it, because he does a video on it. And, uh, it was actually, it was put up on eBay for $1,500 dues. That is 1,500 American dollars that that was put up there. That's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of goddamn money. So, when I actually heard about it, I think I was one of the first people to hear about it. Um, it's funny, you have no idea how many messages I got from you guys telling me that that, that was on eBay, and I was like, I know. <laughs> And they're like, are you going to buy it? And I was like, no. <laughs> I can't afford it. Uh, even if I could, I, I wouldn't. Not for that amount of money. There's no way in hell I would have bought that goddamn totem. The most I would pay for that piece of shit is $100. Keep in mind, I don't believe in giving Chris money. But for $100, maybe I'd do it. <laughs> maybe. But uh, somebody else would have swooped it up way before I did. So, the auction actually went through. The auction actually- somebody bought it. Somebody bought the, uh, the Sonic Totem. Now, I remember on my Discord you guys were freaking out that somebody had bought the Sonic Totem. I'd like you guys to actually know something in, about that. You see, Chris has auctioned off items previously for exuberant amounts of money. Uh, there was actually a point where Chris had auctioned something on eBay. I think it was a, a piece of art. And he put it up to just, like, be a bidding. And the bid on that actually reached hundreds of thousands of dollars, something ridiculous, you know. And what happened is that somebody said they were going to pay that amount, and then they just cancelled it. You know, they just cancelled the payment. So Chris never actually got the money, and uh, then he whined about it, and then he had to put it back up. So I will bet you guys that the person who paid the $1,500 for Chris's auction is just going to cancel the $1,500 price, you know. They're just going to cancel it when it's time to pay. Because that's what's happened many times for Chris. Despite being $1,500, Chris pissed away all the money he made from it. Oh, did he? I haven't actually kept up to date with what he's been doing with the money, or if he even got it. But he is he's very much in the red right now. Chris is very much in debt. 
Jesus Christ, the Pawn Stars in the background. He's very much in debt. So even with that $1,500, he's not going to fucking do anything with it. Nope, nobody's going to give Chris over $1,000. <laughs> well, yeah, only an idiot would give Chris over $1,000. Oh, wait, says the Fruit Song. Oh, wait, that's happened before. Yeah. Tony, he got a $400 14k carat gold necklace. Yes, that was also another item that he put up for sale. But that is not as important as the Sonic Totem, so there's no real point in discussing it at the moment. Chris did, in fact, sell a 14 karat gold necklace for $400. Will he get the money for that either? I have no idea. Normally what happens is when Chris puts up an item for way too much fucking money, people will buy it on eBay and then just cancel the order, forcing him to put it up. Now, they'll do this a few times, so that Chris has to put it up a couple times, until Chris realizes, hmm, maybe if I put it up for a lower price, someone will actually purchase it. Which, has only happened a few times. Man, Chris is not doing so hot in this game. He's surviving on those little pizzas that are dropping. Without those pizzas, he would have died a long-ass time ago. He's almost done fighting him, though, holy shit. Has it really- wow, it's been nine minutes already. I've just been talking for nine minutes. Set on, what are you doing playing Warframe on my stream? What are you doing? Get out of here. Goobery goob. It's my bad for having Steam open, but you know. Get out of here. Wasn't that fun? Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm, it's my favorite. He's a shitty Let's Player. Let me, let me be honest with you guys. When it comes to the hierarchy of, like, of, like YouTube... Let's Players are pretty low. You know, people like me, like Let's Players and live streamers, we're pretty low. We're below, like, animators or content creators who do original content. Let's Playing is admittedly a fairly easy thing to do, you know? But it, it's somewhat difficult to do well. And Chris has done many Let's Plays. Chris is actually the person to do the first ever Let's Play on YouTube. And he's just bad at it. Like, when... We'll, We'll see, like, when he comments over himself, it's just awful. It's just god-awful. Like, I don't know why he does it. Like, why does he keep doing it, you know? Reaction channels are lower. Hey, bud. Commentaries are pretty low. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie. I mean, for fuck's sake. Chris's Patreon is my favo. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? A reviewer named Dstex, Chris didn't follow through. Yes, we've talked about that before on other streams, so I won't go into detail now, but that is true. The fruit song is correct. Try to help out with finances here at home. I have set up a Patreon account, which there is a link. There will be a link in the description below. And here's the Here's the logo. Icon in Chris. I'm let the light shine through it. Chris, the icon is on the wrong side. Chris, Tony, I made a Bayonetta montage. Would you like to see it? Yeah, go ahead and post that in the Discord uh, when you get the chance. And I, I always like to watch stuff that you guys make. Tony, your great content is great. Oh, thank you. But this is on the wrong side. Is that on, like... Mm. Tony, is there a link to your Discord? Yes, it's on my website. Uh, you can get to it from the website at the bottom of the screen that you are currently watching right now. <laughs> Look to Chris. The way it goes backward. Anyway, I'm on Patreon. Wait. I'm on pa what was that, Chris? Say that again? I can't help the reflect the way it goes backward. He can't flip the Patreon logo the other way because he drew it backwards. What? He drew th Why, though? <laughs> Why did he draw it backwards? So that he could do it like... Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, God. Like, I'm sick. I'm just sitting here. There's just acid churning in my stomach. It's saying, Tony, please, stop doing this. Go to the bathroom and vomit because you don't feel well. And I'm just like, no, we have to watch Chris Chan. And then he just does this. And it's... It just makes me want to puke more. Anyway, I'm on Patreon. I'll be on Patreon. I'm on Patreon now. I'm very much bamboozled. You're on Patreon now, Chris? Yeah? video to public. Link will be in the description below. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll click that link at the, the end, don't worry. Donations made through there will be greatly, greatestly appreciated. Greatestly, mm. $250,000, the $50,000 extra from 200000 
Is Maybe he used that tracer reflector thing to draw it. Oh, I can almost guarantee you he did. But anyway, uh, Let me actually explain how that works. Now that uh, Atlas in the chat has pointed out. You see, if you guys don't remember, we talked about this on, a, on an older, way older stream. Chris actually has a, a child's toy. It's a reflector drawing thing for children. Essentially, an item will... You can place a picture on one side of it and it will cast a reflection on another side, which you can then use to trace. You can trace onto paper the reflection. So when you put something on there and you draw it, it'll come out backwards, and I can almost guarantee you that that is how he drew this backwards. It's pretty fucking anyway, the big goal dumb. $250,000 pay off the mortgage, all our debts and whatnot, so then Guys, I'm it's the camera, not Chris. It also... Rate. He could have drawn it correctly. So that I can Quick as, quick as I can. He could have drawn it backwards on purpose. That strife. Because that has So that it would then reflect when the camera looked at it. Bother me about it. It's not the time for it. Yada, yada, yada. What's that, Chris? Are you going to actually talk like an adult? That strife. Because that has been a major burden around here. My mother keeps bothering me about it. It's not the time for it. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, no. Anyway. His mommy is bothering him to fucking do something. Oh no! Look at- he's so upset, guys! Jesus Christ, I've been watching your streams all day. I'm glad you enjoy them. His hairline, though. Like... Like, come on, dude. Is this guy for real? Like, is Chris... Is Chris sitting here complaining about his mom? What am I talking about? We've done this for like 44 episodes. Of course he's for real. Like, I'm Patreon. Christ. Christ almighty. Everybody who donates can request a video. What do you think is Chris's most deplorable we'll accent? We'll or aspect? We'll, we'll talk about that at the end of all these, probably. And the larger the donations, the quicker we can get to the goal, the faster I'll be able to feel creative again and actually be able to wow. do better. That is fucking disgusting. Tour, tour everybody. Wow. For much for, much for right now. I'm, I'm just fucking. I'm that. mad about that. And that's where going hey guys, make sure to go to go to my Patreon uh, and give me money because there's no way I could feel creative without you guys giving me money. See, I can't, I can't create and make videos for you guys without you guys donating to me my Patreon because then I just don't feel the creative spark without the motivation of of legal tender in my wallet because without you guys giving me your hard-earned money to me I won't feel the drive to do it I just won't feel like it unless you guys give me money on my patreon Jesus Christ it's it's frustrating you know it's obnoxious. Everything that is surrounding me in my background Tony do you here. play cave story I, I do not okay. okay pay me for videos I won't make that's the that's the fucking way, isn't it? That's Chris's Patreon. It says pay me for videos, and then he just doesn't fucking make them. Man. Jesus Christ. Let's go to his Patreon. Let's go to his Patreon. Ha! <laughs> 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 hoo, hoo. Ooh, I'm a happy boy today. I may be sick, but I'm certainly a happy boy. $24. See, that's nice, because that used to be, like, in the hundreds of dollars. But finally, finally, people have realized to stop giving Chris money. Because it doesn't matter how much money you fucking give him. Jesus Christ, his lowest donation tier is, a th is $10. $10. Christ almighty. Just fuck off, Chris. Finally! What? Whoa! Okay. He just formatted it incorrectly. Why does it go from 10 to 500? He's got a $10,000. He's got $2,000 tier. A hundred that. Wow, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I've forgotten how ridiculous his Patreon is. I haven't been on it in a little while. Wow. <laughs> Four people are dummies. Yeah, I'm I'm real happy people have finally realized giving Chris money is a is a dumb thing to do. Don't give Chris your money. Chris says that, you know, wow, for $10, he gives you a thank you. He doesn't even send you a thank you. He just says it here, and that's all you get. That's just upsetting. For, no, there we go, for $50. 
for 50 American dollars, you will receive one Skylander card of myself, Christine Weston Chandler, playable in Skylanders Imaginators. Allow up to two months time for the time of collecting your pledge and shipment. That's insane. You gotta wait two months? You gotta wait two months. Here's the thing, for those of you who don't know how Patreon works, uh, you will, say you, say you give him $50 on the, say, say the 9th, right? It's the 9th, April 9th, today. You will not be charged until the first of the next month. Which means Chris is not obligated to give you your rewards until the first of the next month. When he knows he has received his money. Which means you can technically be waiting up to three months. Or longer. Okay? Because you will have to wait for the entire month to go by until you're charged. Then you will have to wait until Chris actually decides to put in your order. And then you have to wait for the Skylanders people to make their card, send it to Chris, then Chris to send to you. Because Chris would otherwise not have the money to order a Skylanders card because he's flat broke. So without the money that he would receive from you on Patreon, he doesn't have the money to buy the card ahead of time to send to you guys. On my Patreon, I've already paid for things months in advance. People who are subscribed to my Patreon receive their video games that I promise in one of my tiers, usually the first day after they're charged. Because I have it ahead of time, because I'm not a goddamn moron. Because why? Why would you- like... Ugh, man. Alright, what else? Do you, can request one video that is that I will create maximum of 15 to 30 minutes. Nothing offensive or pervasive in con content. All curse words will be censored, copy pasta allowed within reason. Allow adding me onto their Skype. You can, you can give me $50 and I'll put you on my Skype, guys. Access to patron-only content. Which is... Nothing. In case you're wondering. Nothing. That's... you won't get a thing. Sneak peek photos of upcoming releases. Again. That's... that's nothing. That's a thing that I'm sure he copy and pasted from another more successful Patreon. Patron only polls. I'm sure that's also nothing. Can anybody who's... can one of these four people... One of these four people in my streams... Can you... Can you go ahead and let me know? Is that a thing? I'm just gonna assume that it's not, because... Because that's fucking dumb. What kind of 30 year old, 35 year old man plays Skylanders? One that's paid for to review it for like a reviewing website? Or a guy playing with his kids? Uh, you know, other normal reasons? But the fandom menace, my boy. These are not normal reasons. Chris plays Skylanders because he uses it as a pathetic escape because he's a sad, sad child. In a man, in a trans lesbian man's body, I guess. Tony, did you watch season three of Rick and Morty, the premiere? I did. It was pretty top tier. If you guys haven't seen it and you like Rick and Morty, I'd give it a watch. Also, watch Jack, J Samurai, J Samurai Jack, the Jack Pack. It's good too. It's a good show that's on right now. <laughs> I bet he won't add you on Skype, meaning you just wasted your money. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he won't. Like, here's the thing. Patrons don't really have a way to, like, contact their Patreons, you know what that means? Like, for example, if somebody, like, signs up for my Patreon, and and they just, like, don't, and I just don't do anything, they can't really do anything about it, you know? They don't really have, like, a direct way to message me, but I mean, again, on my Patreon, I open up Discord way down here, and no most of the people who are on my Patreon are on Discord also. So I'll just message them through there and be like, all right, it's the beginning of the month. Here are all your rewards. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. I'll have it done for you this month, as it says on the Patreon. Like, they can always message. If they want to change their Patreon reward to something else, they can just do that. You know? They can just send me a message. But but if you don't get your Skype invitation from Chris, what are you going to do about it? You don't get any. You don't have anything to do. You know? You don't have anything to do. There's nothing you- you're just fucked, you know? <laughs> you're just fucked. I think that's his YouTube banner also. Yeah, this is the same banner. That is not his art, by the way. He stole this art from someone else. And he's using it for his YouTube and for this banner, which is sad. But it, again, whenever- whenever, uh... 
Whenever Chris does his Patreon, I always like to open up my Patreon and compare the two because it makes me really fucking happy. <laughs> How bad his uh his Patreon is always doing. This makes me just makes me this makes me real happy that I'm doing more successfully than Chris. I'm having a, I'm having a good time. What do you mean that password ain't correct, bud? What's the right password? I used like three passwords and I forgot. There we go, see, I'm doing way better than Chris is. <laughs> oh man. And I actually give my goddamn patrons the reward. I always feel bad. Sometimes I'll message people and be like, alright, what do you want for this month? And then they'll be like, oh, I don't want anything, I just wanted to give you money. And then I feel bad, you know? They just like say no. <laughs> but Jesus Christ. I'm glad I'm doing better than Chris, that makes me feel happy. Alright, let's move on with Chris's more videos. We got more things to do. Oh god. If I vomit on stream... If I vomit on stream, then... This is what happens. I'm never streaming sick again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To be honest, places like McDonald's and most retail won't do a check, but there's no way he would pass the interview. Oh, Chris could never get an actual uh, job at an actual Christine restaurant or, or store. From home once again. No and way. Remind, and just saying once again about the Patreon that I'm st uh, just started up. Uh -huh. The link is in the description of the previous video. Good job, Chris. This just plug one. in that Patreon, my uh, guy. Anyway, I'm doing this I feel video it. because I have heard on the radio earlier about how successfully the ice Tony, I'm done with your was, Sims 4 family. And I, yeah. It's good. And regardless of how everybody. Tony, how much money is, will it take for you to get me a pony? Yeah, new challenge where there. Well, you're going to have to give me more money than the pony it costs. Very cold so probably a lot. Heads. And also, more recently I've heard, getting backpacks thrown upon them by crowds or standing still to be mannequins. Yeah, Chris. Why isn't the color of Chris's hair fading? Because Chris continually dyes his hair. Because he keeps spending money on hair dye instead of food, or bills, or other useful things like his mortgage. But, uh, so what is this down? This is the Alpha Trion Young Warrior Challenge. Now, I'm sure many of you remember the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, where you douse yourself in a bucket of icy water and then challenge someone else to do the same, right? For some reason that is beyond my comprehension, Chris has decided to invent one of those challenges. And this is the challenge he has invented. Oh, we're gonna do something different today. It's inspired it and brought fucking, to you by This just M makes me mad. Isn't Alpha Trion a Transformers character? His channel yes. In the description below this video, as well as BigBadToyStore.com. I have just received this in the mail today. He Most plugs Big Bad Toy Store right. a lot in this video, and like the theme three or four like times. Since I think. the Alpha Trion video is the helpful, is the what is the rainbow thing in the bottom left corner? Mgo did the voice for. Alpha I Trion. don't see any rainbow. Huh. Item. Here's one example. This is a Skylanders bag. I'm pretty well, sure over there. Like that's a video from the sound wave video. Here I don't Here is Fun Dip Green Tony. Man, don't ruin Fun Dip for me. When I love me some Fun Dip. The bughole, the mood, I'll do the back. Alpha Trion challenge. Yeah, why not? He just does it for attention. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. You know what's weird? That sounds. You know what's weird? I understood that. Yep. That made sense to me. It would. What's that supposed to mean? Did someone need the front door open again? Chris. I'll put that video link in the description below. Let y'all enjoy that. Anyway, Chris. so. You I don't need you to describe a video to me and then act out the video to me. Why would you why would you act out a video to me? What? What why though? For what reason? For what reason is this happening? Why is there so much Skylander shit everywhere? Why is this Coke and Beppus in frame? Did he drink half a Coke and then decide to drink half half a Beppus? And then whatever this was? Why though? Yeah, Christ! So from there, the old theme of Kenny, will you be my friend, please? Of course, warrior. I'll be your friend. Has been I like friends. Since, so 
I'm issuing a new challenge. You got to uh, see how see how long everybody can. Tony, go. I can't understand this. Act out the video of Chris's no, voice acting. That. Out the video. Oh the sure, Alpha I'll do. Trial I'll totally challenge. act out, Chris. Be also known as the young if I could, if I had challenge. enough brain damage, I totally would. Uh, which I'm, which I'm issuing Tony's it to already everybody from us this menace. video. That's true. Introducing it, but initially you can have the Alpha Trion figure available in stores or from BigBatToyStore.com. I'll put that. If you guys didn't catch that, Chris says that to do this challenge, you need to have an Alpha Trion figure to do it. And then he plugs the store in which he bought the figure at. That's a thing. Now the ALS challenge was was very popular for many reasons. But I'm sure one of them was the fact that you didn't need anything besides icy water. That's it. Like, come on. Tony, adopt me, please. Below. Kids are expensive, my guy. Or, if you can't afford the figure, you can get the image of his head. <laughs> If you can't afford the figure, you can just buy the box separately. Paper, or you could just draw it on a piece of paper. Or you could just have none of this because you're not a and then goddamn idiot. And then young warrior, you can make up your own sound advice and stake that or take it by uh, some I, I natural I call her Mrs. Relative. Glow in the Dark. Like, oh, Chris, stop. Some uh, actual relative. So like, yo! Uh, Chris, stop. Chris. Chris. Stop. Now I'm starting this challenge is to help out with the Patreon, to help out with our financial homes here. That's anyway. supposed to help with your Patreon? Yeah, warrior. Mm -hmm. I love that line. Hear me now and understand me tomorrow. That makes that definitely reflective true. Yeah, and Chris. My first piece of sound advice: We're gonna take the yeah destroyed Sentinel Prime, or should I say, or sure? Fucking I end me, please. <laughs> the, Gee, what is what episode is this? Forty-five. I streamed forty-five episodes of this. Him, so, much oh great, he's gonna talk about Trump now. My favo. I'll talk about what this video is at the end, and then and then I'll actually do the challenge. I promise. Pants. Presented by Alpha mm. Trion. Goddamn Alpha Trion. Yeah, what? Wait a minute. You're not so young. You're yeah. old, Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You're very old. And Mark Bench is no picture either. Anyway, young warrior, mm -hmm. hear me now and understand me tomorrow. Chris is a 35 year old man. Relinquish pretending that a Transformers that figure will, is Donald Trump, our president. And take my pets with you. And complaining and about politics. To take the rightful presidential position. To Donald Trump. Or who is, again, do do? Sentinel Prime, a Transformers or if figure. You don't, everyone will be praying for your death. He's also putting on cartoony here? voices. To happen before the coming January in 2017. Why? So we're like a patrol. What? You know? Oh, as Donald, Donald Trump, presidential... And that, I hereby relinquish my role in office, and I take my pets with me, and mm -hmm. I give it to Hillary Clinton, hooray for America, and the LGBTQ, Chris has used, and everybody else. Chris has used the argument that Trump is too old to be president. I always love when people complain that a guy is too old to be president. Because you know unless that guy's like 94, for fuck's sake, guys, come on. My president. This isn't the He's goddamn Middle Ages. President like, people Donald don't live Trump. for, like, f you know, you don't die of polio at 25, you know? Like, Christ. The argument that someone is too old is always just the dumbest argument. People live for a long time nowadays, you know? You don't die at old age at 24. It's ridiculous. It just, it's, it's upsetting. It's always dumb people who make that argument, too. Okay, so anyway... Tony, please, I'm cringing on an entirely new I level. I everybody else to offer their... I'm sorry, you're cringing? That means you want me to slow it down, right? Isn't a president supposed to be old? I mean, it comes with the implication... Excuse, excuse me? Did you just itch your sack? Look at that. Here it comes. Mmm. 
No, no, I want that again, but I want it even fucking slower. I don't care if it gets rid of the sound. I don't fucking care, dude. Look at it. Stare into the abyss. Stare into the abyss and allow it to stare back into you. Become. Become Chris's nuts. And be scratched by him. Again. Mm, you like that? Challenge. Challenge. The, and then he touches that box that he will probably eBay off when he needs to pay his mortgage. Someone will buy this after Chris has touched his dirty peen with it. You're welcome. Were helping me out at home towards getting mm. back to Greenfield creatively inspired. Mm. To make signs, you and roast you some more. More figures and whatnot. And hopefully, actually, get face to face. In person, not over the internet or Skype, communications with official people yeah. who actually have things going. I'm sure they're going to gonna give you official treatment after Thank that intense much, nut scratch day. on camera. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. How you guys doing? You guys having a good time? You guys having a good time watching Chris scratch his dick? So, Chris mumbles and talks about Trump and doesn't make much sense in this video, so let me let me explain it to you. Why does he disable comments on his videos? That's a good question. Chris actually disables comments on all of his videos because he doesn't like people complaining. He also disables uh, voting on all of his videos because he doesn't like people thumbing up things or thumbing down things. I don't understand. I guess he just can't take the criticism. Okay. So what Chris is actually talking about in this video is that he's trying to create a new challenge like the Ice Bucket Challenge. If you couldn't piece together what that was, the challenge he's saying is the Young Warrior Challenge. Not all of his videos, Tony, that is correct. Some of his videos do have voting and comments enabled, but only because he has forgotten to disable them. So the Young Warrior Challenge is essentially you were supposed to hold up that Transformers figure he had in your hand and you are supposed to see how long you can go saying young warrior so pretty much that's the whole challenge you you don't actually have to challenge anyone else which was a big part of the ice bucket challenge and most other challenges you just do it in your room I guess so you're just supposed to do this young you're supposed to hold that forever. Young Warrior. And you see how long you can go. And that's the whole fucking challenge. ASMR the Young Warrior Challenge. Ugh. I did say that I was gonna do it. But fuck me if I wanna try. <laughs> can I be your Young Warrior? Oh jeez. So it's like saying, yeah boy. Yeah. It's exactly like the yeah boy challenge. <laughs> can I say yeah boy instead? That fucking sounds horrible. It does. It's not fun to do. In the, like, three seconds I just did it, it becomes incredibly annoying. It's- the fun of the ice bucket challenge is watching someone get doused in ice water. That's why it's fucking fun. It's not fun having you guys sit here and listen to me go, Yummmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
anyway. I'm so, disappointed in you. Essentially, I'm disappointed that you thought that I wouldn't put Chris's Young Warrior Challenge in slow motion. Not get fully understood during the that last just shows video, that you don't. As I found a comment that you, that you don't understand so, the reality we live I'll in. I'll break it down slow as I can in speech. Okay. Nice framing. You All can right. even see the so, month-old McDonald's. Anyway, you can see his uh, Lysol, with all the Skylanders the he has. Finger. There's just more Skylanders every or time. Here. Optionally with his face. Chris, stop. That you can find on what is half this shit? Draw if you like, or like Lego? It's so it's everywhere. Down. Like it's just Whatever. man, it's so claustrophobic figure. in this room. But really? The, uh, Scream yeah, boy at the top is. of your lungs. No. Starting the video. <laughs> I'm starting off with. And you want to do fucking this yell, yeah, boy! From your own I'm in a voice. dorm, everybody will be pissed. Recording. Also, they'll kick me out. To, not, do not do a is that a Halloween pumpkin? Yeah, that's what that is. No video edits. But anyway, did you guys know that uh, the voice actor for Goku, when he went into Super Saiyan footage. 3, that there was no editing for it? He just held yeah. screaming as Goku for the entire time. They cut in between his yelling. But they never cut his yelling, you know, like he never started and then stopped, he kept going for one fucking thing. Goku is legit screaming in one fucking breath, and you can actually hear it hurting the voice actor's voice, it's, it's pretty impressive. Are able to, in one breath. Yeah boy for ASMR, alright, apathetic rainbows, you, you, win the, you win the ASMR vote, you win the young warrior challenge. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You're welcome. That was that was for you, apathetic rainbows. I love you. Speak to the, the camera. Some Kisses. sound advice. All right, let's fucking listen to him do this goddamn challenge. Or heard from your parents. Or your, grandparents your icon or is the first thing I ever painted in acrylic friends, paint, Papa. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I'd love to see someone paint like, my logo, uh, as I ended like in oil video, paints or like acrylic or something. Donald That'd be lovely. Trump, you really should advocate the office and Tony, how old are you? To come in. Twenty-one. <laughs> and take pens with you. Uh, Chris you is pretty much young. just repeating himself from last video. <laughs> that was a good joke. All right, so Tony, do you like video. Vore? <laughs> No. Everybody, you're doing the challenge. Absolutely, absolutely and not. You know what, much like previous challenges, no. you challenged him, her, who, he, she, them, Tony, I didn't know you were going to do that, my and poor earballs. You, you can you can blame someone else. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on. I don't think you're ready. You're not ready for him to do Young Warrior in slow motion. Him, Here it comes. Who, he, she, them, whatever. All right, Chris, hit me with it. You go. You guys ready? That song was big in 2007, though. When the ger when the gerbil retreats into the bunk hole, the moon shall fall into a I want a more, please, Tony. Tapioca. I will never play that again. You know there will weird? be no I more Young Warrior challenges on this stream. What is that supposed to mean? Never Did ever. I just popped in to say hi, Tony. Well, hello there, uh, just did that one, but essentially, Thorn. You do the Young Warrior. And then announce your piece of advice. Yeah. 
Now you gotta announce That's a piece of advice. Is the Alpha Trion Young Warrior Yeah, nobody challenge. really did this challenge, in case you're wondering. And on in, res in respect of to help to make awareness of and help me out through my Patreon or directly through PayPal. But Patreon is where it's at now. Jesus at Christ. Get, you can make money Why is he holding money. his glasses? Because Chris and thinks that he looks like an intellectual while month, holding his glasses. Yada, yada, yada. Fine, I'm not joking. Whatever. Anyway, so that is that. And now for the similar detail. Tony, if you had a set of four guns, what color would it be? And what would you name them? Four? Why would I have four guns? Notes. I don't see how I'd need any more than two. I only got two hands, Wait. my guy. Hillary Clinton. Oh, God. He made Hillary Clinton in Legos. And then made Trump Twice. and Pence. Trump and Pence? Yeah. Da, 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 da. On a noose. Chris, yeah, really. You're 35, right? Seriously, though. Trump. Pence. Donald Trump and Pence. Mm -hmm. Advocate the office. And Advocate the office. Or else a lot of Americans, including myself, are still gonna pray for your deaths to happen before uh, January. Yeah, Chris. So you, better, so you, so y'all will def. So America and you will def. A person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. Publicly recommend or support. Advocate the office, Trump. Advocate the office. That was the definition of advocate. I don't think that word means what he think it does. Definitely be a lot better Christ. off. I don't think he thinks it means. Jesus. So advocate the office. Trump does this mean that menace is also your child too, Tony? Of course, anybody in my chat is my is one of my lovely buckaroos. You're all my children, and I love you all equally. His opinions on Trump came from a college humor video. Yes, you are you are correct. He quotes a college humor video. You which know, is a, a remix. Or not a, it's a, it's a reimagining. Because I couldn't get of, uh, you to do what, to hang off. Fuck. Of the house. It's a reimagining of the, of the Grinch song. Jesus. Blanking on something. Anyway. Can I post a picture I took of the cosplayers at Anime Matsuri Trump. to the Facebook page? That's Somewhere of Somber. Present. Of course, my guy. You can post, Hillary. you can post that to my Facebook page. You can go to my Discord and post it there if you want to. People are more Our active present. there in case you're wondering. Yay. Notice me. Thank you okay. and have a good day. And look forward to another video of fun and hilarity in this. In Maybe I want you to be my daddy, not daddy. I think you were missing some air quotes there. Daddy. Has, has Chris fun. ever actually. This is a very good question asked by Unlimited Rice Pudding, which is. Delicious, I love rice pudding. Has Chris ever actually formed his own opinion and not leached off of another's? Yes. Chris has, in fact, uh, formed his own opinions. You guys haven't noticed, but he's been forming his own opinions for literal years. Dream Love, by the way. Fantastic shirt he's got on there. Chris has been, Chris has been forming his own pr opinions for years. They're just really fucking dumb opinions. They're opinions like Sonic's arms aren't blue. Or, this person's a troll because I say so. Or, Tara Strong is trolling me because she did a song. Oh no. See, those are all opinions. They're just so fucking dumb that you haven't realized that those are Chris's dumbass opinions. That's, that, he's, he's very, very dumb. Oh boy, happy birthday, Riki. Is this a is this a Dota 2 reference? I remember when Ricky was fun to play, and then he wasn't, and then he was. Happy birthday, Ricky! You are turned 32 on the 20th, so good for you. And I turned, I don't know, 34 this year. Tony, I wanted to tell you about my stand, but no, you had to talk about Chris. Oh no. Someone paid money for this overexposed piece of shit. For those of you who don't understand, overexposure is when you're... Everything is too fucking bright. 
<laughs> and there's no definition in any of the details. And the whites are too white. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. This is so awful. It's like a drunk stumbling around in their house. Don't step on Sorbet, you piece of shit! Leave Sorbet alone! Okay, so... You literal anal sponge! Birthday, Mickey. Hope you have a safe and pleasant one. And Tony, did you celebrate Jonathan Joe Star's birthday? The light there. The light's on up no, there. No, no. Well, <laughs> I don't really see like me. him that much. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. His, his room is actually huge. That's because Chris, much like a very spoiled rich child, has like an entire wing in his house. He doesn't just have one singular room. He's got like a wing. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's just him and his mom there, you know? Like, every fucking part of the house is his, essentially. If you guys are wondering, he probably has... Chris's old house before the fire, there was cat poop everywhere. Chris has been on record as stating that he would slip on cat poop in his room all the time. And, like, when he was walking around his house. So I'm sure that's still happening, even today. No, Tony, the entire house belongs to the Horde. Look, Taro Gar, my friend. Leave that alone. No! Give Sorbet it. Give it back, you piece of shit! How dare you? Leave Sorbet alone. I feel pretty bad for Sorbet, right? Here's the thing, though. We've only seen Sorbet, really, on camera, but Chris has many other pets. This is just the only one he, like, plays with or acknowledges because it's the new one. I think he's forgotten that he has other animals in that house because this is the new one, you know? It's that fear of, like, if you get a younger brother, your parents are gonna ignore you. That actually happens in Chris's house. Jesus Christ, those fucking slippers. Can we get a shot of those slippers again? Those slips? Look at those sick-ass slips, my guy. Look at those. Sorbet, you small, small bab. Look at those slippers! That's some good shit, though. They look comfy. I could go for those slips. He probably doesn't notice the cat poop because he's not walking around barefoot anymore, you know? That cat is missing hair on its leg. I'm frightened. That cat is probably not very healthy, admittedly. He cut off feet off of his secret fursuit. I'm sure that Chris actually hates furries because the furry community is known for its rampant homosexuality, so there's no way that he's that he would have furry, furry things. Oh, Z-Ring Fun! Oh, my favorite. He's an outside cat, Tony. This is true. Chris will generally say he's an outside cat to many things. To ignore the fact that he doesn't give a shit about his cats. Oh, I can't fucking wait, Chris. I can't fucking wait. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so... Jesus Christ, that stylus pen. My goodness. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, this is my favorite Let's Play, guys. Do it, Chris. Do a pose. Do a pose. Do a flip. I love it, because it's so musical. He is the only person I have seen who has that thing. I'll explain what that thing is, because he doesn't really talk about it. And for those of you who don't actually have Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh my god, you can't even see anything that's on the screen. Chris is doing a pose. Look at his eyes. Look at, the, look at those eyes. Yeah, Chris. Fuck that pony figure. Yeah. Do a flip. 
Okay, so anyway, aside from that... Uh, nah, Chris, you didn't pose! Out. Pose! Damn it! Uh, I've downloaded the Pokemon Sun and Moon Super Music Collection from iTunes. Why do you do mm. this? Oh, well. Mm, you can Google it, you know, look up on iTunes. Pokemon Is the Z-Ring basically the Pip-Boy app for Fallout collection. 4? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Z-Ring. I'll explain what the Z-Ring is for people who don't play Pokemon. I'm sure you're very confused as to what the fuck is going on. Granted, I don't know how this toy works. Because, like... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alright, I can't wait to explain what that is. It's gonna piss half of you off, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris. Mine's off in here. Mine's off I sure do like you talking about your Z-Ring for funsies. Oh, he's got the slippers on again. Jesus, those slippers are huge. How big are Chris's feet? Anyways, so this is from my video. I'll tell you a little bit about something that I was able to do. Uh, the uh, six bonus tracks that sync up with the Z-Ring. Yeah, Chris. I'm, in the iTunes program, I've uh, learned how to separate, uh, isolate numbers through... The option under get info. Mm -hmm. I made ringtones. Yeah? You're gonna teach now me how to make a ringtone, Chris? Ring. Is that what you're gonna do? Which, Are you gonna teach me how to replace the bloody stream the ringtone I've been using? It's good enough. It, that's like a pager, it just makes it buzz. I don't know if you're gonna hear that, but it buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh huh. Which, of course, yeah. Is uh, the first three seconds of the full Pokemon Center, which I got the first sec three seconds of that. So Instead of using your still. phone to tell you, you can wear a Z-Ring, and then it'll tell you. Mm hmm Man, Pokemon Sun and Moon was disappointing to me. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Kind of miss, at least for... Kind of hit or miss sometimes, but we work around it. It does make for a good companion for... Chris should make a toy review channel. That would imply that Chris would make a good reviewer, but with the amount of toys he has access to, he certainly could. Tony, I'm being crushed by pupper butt. It's the best way to die. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. So anyway, that is something neat that you can do to set up, you can set up your ringtones out of the bonus tracks in the Super Music Why? collection. Download or Why not CDs just use your phone to tell disc, you when you have a text instead of hooking up your Z ring? Uh, to, uh, work what the anyway, fuck? Like, was that a Pikachu scream? Uh, yeah, it was. To Other than Gengar, who's your favorite the, Pokemon, Tony? Uh, I I would have to think about that for a phone. while. Simple as that, at the very least. Or bearing upon. Anyway, uh, Tony, why was Pokemon Sun and Moon disappointing to you? It was way too many cutscenes. It was a lot of move up five feet, have your friends come up and be fucking obnoxious, and then and then just fucking do another cutscene. So let me actually explain what this goddamn thing is here. There is only Gengar. DJ Glitterbuns, she knows what she's talking about. Best DJ in town. So, for those of you who have not played Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is probably like all three of you, Pokemon Sun and Moon has a thing called the Z-Ring, and it allows you to do this- your character will do a pose in the game. I refuse to have sex with my girlfriend to watch this stream. Jesus Christ, I'm ruining lives. Your character will strike a pose, it's a little bracelet, the Z-Ring. Their character will strike a pose and then your Pokemon will do like a special Z-Move, alright? That's, how, that's basically how it works. Now, I don't own this toy, and I don't know jack shit about it, but as far as I can tell, this toy will interact with your 3DS, and it will make... It's a plot device. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit more to it than that, but that's the, the gist of it. The fucking Z-Ring toy will interact with the 3DS and do stuff when it does stuff in the game. And through Chris, we've learned that it actually reacts to phones if you hook it up with an app, all right? You should sex your girlfriend while watching this stream. Get, do spoon. If you spoon, you, you guys can both see the screen. But, uh... 
<laughs> so, could you imagine... I want you to use your imaginations, ladies and gentlemen. Could you imagine... You're just out in public... And you see this guy wearing this fucking Z-Ring toy... And it just, like, fucking starts making Pikachu sound effects, and then he whips out his phone, and he's like, Oh, gee willikers, I got a text from my mom! She's telling me to pick up more milk at the fucking supermarket. Like, Chris. Chris, like, don't. Just d fucking don't, okay? Don't do it. Just fucking stop. <laughs> Oh god, I just want you guys to understand Chris is the kind of guy who who like plays his Plays his like handheld games in public on full blast or like You ever seen that meme? It's like a it's like a first-person view It's a POV shot of like a bunch of people looking back at you in the picture and they're like all cringing and the t and the text behind it is like you you have out your your switch and it's just playing Mario sound effects loudly like wahoo woo like coin sound effect that's fucking that's Chris that's Chris in public with this fucking Z ring on how much is this Z ring you know i want to know i want to know how much this Z ring toy costs pokemon Z ring okay it's cheap it's like 15 bucks i would expect it to be around that to be honest i wasn't expecting it to be anything expensive but Christ. Tony, how do I get to the Discord? There's a link to my Discord on my website, which is on the bottom of the screen. It's 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 cheap. It's not a very expensive item. I'm waiting for still waiting for that. It takes a long time to make that figure. Hmm. That's as much as my O-ring, baby. Get out of here. Sex tips from Tony. I'll give you guys a hot sex tip. The ladies love this. Ladies love this. Uh, what you do? is you, you make some slime, like Nickelodeon slime, which is mostly just applesauce and green food coloring. And, uh... Oh, I'm gonna have to pause it here. But you take the applesauce and green food coloring and you make Nickelodeon slime with it, and while you're doing your girl, preferably when you're on top of her and she's you're looking deep into her eyes, you go down, you start going slow, you know, slow thrusts. You go down into her ear and you whisper, you whisper like just like this. I'll whisper for you. Whoopsie woo. Are you ready for my goo? And then you pull out really fucking fast while your hand, your right hand, while you were whispering, you should have taken your right hand, dipped it into the slime, and then shove like two, maybe three, I don't know how many fingers that you find acceptable. You shove them in there with the goo. And you just sort of, you just. You just give them like a quick stab and then you you pull out. You just give them a quick stab a and you pull out. The ladies love it. They're left with a little bit of slime residue, you know? If they've got pubic hair, just like do like a Simba, you know, like draw a symbol in the pubes with the slime. And then you go back in. <laughs> you slide back into their into their DMs, you know what I'm saying? You just slide back in. And if they say anything other than just moan very loudly, it's probably gonna be marry me because the ladies love it <laughs> Christ almighty that's the end of the street <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's the end of the stream I hope you guys are ready it's gonna be a fucking 30 minute video uh, next time we stream this so it's time for fan art it's time for fan art guys we're posting fan art now so please drop your links Right now, it looks like Ryder is the first person to post fan art. Ooh, I was correct. Ryder is typing in the fan art section. Please, come in. Ooh, we got a stand. We got a stand. I like that. That's good. Good shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God damn it, Tony. What about the part where you pull out your wet cock? <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my goodness. Whoopsie woo, here comes that goo. Fan art time, time for my glorious return. I hope you guys are ready for some for some fan art. I, I know I'm ready, I'm ready for it. What do we got here? Oh man, you guys are... You guys got a lot of fan art tonight. Ooh. Well, this doesn't really qualify as fan art, so I can't really show it. 
but it does look cool. Alright, alright, let's post more. What is this? Looks like a card. Oh jeez. Spaghetti time. Oh Jesus Christ, you guys have a lot of fan art tonight. Again, that does... Oh, Sims 4 photo director. I have to find all of my pictures before I post them. You guys have a lot of shit right now, don't you? Is this a GIF? It says it's a GIF, but it's not animating. I don't think it's actually a GIF. Is that me as a grill? Man, I look pretty thick though. Uh... Need more pictures. There we go. Discord being all weird. Stands, oh boy. Nope. I get it. This picture again, but with bigger nipples. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Okay, alright. Okay, so let's actually look at all this fan art that we've got. It's gonna take a long time to get through this goddamn fan art. <laughs> My pictures are such horrible qual quality. Don't worry! If you guys are ever worried, do I do I secretly think that your pictures are shit? The answer is no. I'm happy to receive all the all the all the pictures I get. But I can't fucking read it, so fuck you. But not seriously, it's good. Uh, last train homes main ability is to be able to travel anywhere by varying speeds the stand feeds off of willpower and the more willpower it has the faster the, the stand will go its secondary ability is to control the monorail of the I think that says oh the momentum of anything inside or within two meters of the train it can also I can't read that. Uh, something stand within the train that goes after... Oh, it creates people inside of it that goes after anyone without a ticket. The train can also eat others, forcing them into the train. Man, that's a big fucking stand, dude. That's like bigger than Superfly. So it makes people. That's good. Makes people inside of it. That's. It seems real fu How big is it? And I'm not gonna lie, this part here kind of looks like a veiny penis, but I'm all for that. Tony, do I have to tag it or something? Your pictures? No, you just you just put your you just post your pictures. That's it. You don't have to tag them or anything. You just post them. Power E and B, range E, speed A, durability A and C, precision A, and potential E. I like when stands don't have any potential because that just means they're never gonna get any better. <laughs> It's a Vore train, that's exactly what it is. Ooh, a comic, let's read it. Ooh. Kieran, give me back my hoodie now. Ooh. I can't read that second word. I don't draw at all. My hoodie, mine. Lil Rinny, by Kieran the Edgelord. I collect hoodies, I have 48, so mine. I've got a, I've got three hoodies in grand total, and two of them are exactly the same, <laughs> just a different color. God damn it, Rin! My hoodie, the Edge Lord hoodie. I keep this hoodie, and then you hiss. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I can get by without hoodies. I run real hot, like I'm like fucking warm. It's great. DJ Glitter Buns is always fucking cold. Like, literally, you touch her, and she's just ice. Everybody in my family is the same way. My little sister and my mother, their skin is like ice. You fucking touch them. You can feel cold, like, in their vicinity. And then I'm like a thousand fucking degrees. I'm like goddamn hot. Like, you touch me, and it fucking sizzles. That's how warm I am. It's insane. Tony, I put mine up. It is called The Chat. Did you not get it? Oh, the image? Uh, if you posted your image after this one, I haven't opened up any more. And we'll eventually get to yours if, if you posted it. 
If you posted it before this one and I skipped it, then you might have to post it again, but I probably didn't skip it. I'd try not to. Let's, uh, let's look at this card. Is your daddy a drug dealer? Because you're dope. Oh, uh, that's nice. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely adorable. I like that you gave me really thick eyebrows because legitimately I've got some thick ass eyebrows. <laughs> I've got very large Portuguese eyebrows. Man, that's adorable. That just looks like a really nice card you'd give someone on Valentine's Day. Can I fry an egg with that heat? Probably. You could probably fry an egg on me. Oof. It's spaghetti time. Oh, Jesus Christ. If anybody asks me where is this clip of Tony from, I'm not fucking telling you, by the way. <laughs> me and my goddamn Dr. Beppis t-shirt. I don't even drink Dr. Beppis. I don't even know why I have that as a shirt. I think I threw it out the other day. Jesus Christ. I guess out of all the Overwatch characters, I probably look the closest to McMeme. He's the only bearded guy, though. Ooh. I like the spaghetti in the pockets. I, I, I appreciate the details that you guys give me. The spaghetti is the, is the best part. Notice me, Daddy. You got noticed. Ooh, here we go. Uh, man, I'm really bad at reading other people's uh, handwriting. So that, that says... Cro, 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 bag. It says bag. All right, your stand is now named bag. All right. It's just yeah. I've named your. I renamed your fucking. It's just bag. All right. Deal with it. <laughs> Seriously though. You did a good job on the stand design. You can tell me what it does in the in the chat. You can put down your description of what the stand does. If you put it in the Discord, I will not be able to read it. Just in case you guys are wondering. Croak bag. It's just bag, all right? <laughs> Deal with it. But uh, if you guys are wondering, how do I make a good stand design? Just always think to yourself, stands are actually very robotic in nature. They're usually an, a, a humanoid organic shape mixed with some sort of robotic uh, robotic parts. Things like gears or uh, ropes or like metal. Just like metal things all over them. And this is good. This stand is good because it's got like robot robotic parts everywhere. Which is good, but it, it also looks very humanoid. You know, it doesn't just look like a, like a robot. <laughs> Sorry that I have unreadable handwriting. No, it's really not a big deal. It's not even your handwriting. It's the fact that I'm not very good at reading other people's handwriting also. But, uh, what did you say it was? Croak bag? Alright. I'm still gonna call it bag, though. <laughs> Croak bag. Alright. Uh, Theron has made me in The Sims 4. I have a beanie that says fresh. Do I have a YouTube show? Am I a YouTube content creator here? Tony, I noticed that your picture, that your videos have new pictures on them. Yes, I've started creating thumbnails for all of my videos because I've realized that I should probably have done that ages ago. <laughs> oh, here is me with all of my sons and daughters from the chat. So please. Oh, you already did it. I didn't even have to ask. Uh, Tony's kids in the chat so far are 1 to 6. Freezer Burn, 21, B Roy, Solar Knight, Petty Super Crazy Crasher, and Dingo, Dingo the Wolf. But you named him Dingle. Okay. I assume that one, that one over there is B Roy. Because, like, all of these are boys. <laughs> B Roy's, like, the only girl. Oh, jeez. And that is DJ Glitter Buns. I'll have to send her this picture and, and tell her that that's what, that's what you made to be her. Oh man, look at that, we're getting spicy outside. We're getting spicy outside, Jesus Christ, trying to make more chat members. What is that? that is a big bear in the background, that is a large bear. Do I, do I have a YouTube show? Am I, do I have a YouTube show in this though? <laughs> Can I be in it please? I'm one of the classic boys. Sergeant Blue's not wrong, he's been in my chat for a very long time. Oh, here we go, some more edgy art. It's bubbles. Oh, you, you drew bubbles as like a, a fish grill. That's fucking cool, dude. Seriously. I love, I love mermaid designs that are like creepy and weird. I think that's like way more interesting than beautiful mermaids, you know? DJ Glitter Buns. Oh, hey. She looks like Twilight Speckle. <laughs> I'm far hotter than that, thank you, <laughs> says DJ Glitter Buns. Ooh, you're gonna have to try again, Theron. Does this look like you, DJ Glitter Buns? Because this is... The funny thing is, is that nobody knows what DJ Glitter Buns looks like. But, uh... 
So everybody just reimagines her differently. So it's, I like the little unicorn horn. I do like the unicorn horn too, if only because she dressed up as Princess Rainicorn. Is, 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 Rain, is Rainicorn a princess? I have no idea. But she dressed up as Rainicorn once uh, for Kineticon, so that was cool. So I guess that's pretty fitting. And she does wear, wear earphones. Hint, I have less hair. I would not say that you have less hair in my chat because people will just make you bald. <laughs> but, yes, she, she does not have long hair. She has very short hair. Yes, Tony, you do have a YouTube show. It's based off of this. Oh, man, is my character in Sims doing good? Is he making money? If he's making money, he's doing better than me. <laughs> Tony, have you ever watched Kimono Friends? You can do that with DJ Glitterbuns. If not, uh, DJ Glitterbuns doesn't watch the Animu, and I have not seen Kimono Friends. Today is National Unicorn Day. Oh, that's very fitting. This picture is fantastic and very fitting. I do like that the the eyes are dyed different. She also she puts her her eyes in wings a lot, so you got that pretty spot on. Ooh, jeez, I like that mouth. Ready for a stream, boy? Man, you drew my you drew my logo very skinny and long. He's a long boy, which is most people. Most people do not. Uh, most people do not draw my logo like this. They usually draw it kind of like thicker, you know? Tons of money. Oh, jeez. My Sims character is doing way better than me. This is fucking cool, though. I I really like the little accents. Like the uh, the shoulder... Shoulder tattoo looking stuff and the hat and the, the head sort of deal. It looks fucking cool, dude. It's good shit. <laughs> Monsters Inc. 3, guys. Mike Wazowski, what are you doing? Maybe you would be able to fight if you weren't using big meaty claws. How dare you? <laughs> Am I sitting at a table talking to Clawdorf? That's pretty cool. Also, I like that you always draw your characters with sunglasses. I'd probably look way cooler if I wore sunglasses every day, but I don't. I don't know how to draw buff boys. That's okay, you don't have to know how to draw buff boys. <laughs> but he hasn't even aged. Oh, so it is a gif. Oh, okay. It's just playing like weird. It's not like a like a motion gif. It's like a stop motion kind of gift. Okay. I reloaded it and then didn't pay attention. All right, I gotta read it from the beginning. This is a scene from Samurai Jack. Oh, can I just reload it? There we go. Well, you see, it's been five years now. Has it been five years? But he hasn't even aged. All right. Like. I mean, like, not at all. All he did was become a tranny and beg for money. It looked like... Looks like he, he'll be here forever. I just don't know if I can take that. If I can handle that. Oh, man. If you guys don't watch Samurai Jack, you really should. This is a really good scene from the newest... One of the new episodes of Samurai Jack. Oh, damn. Time for, for Chris Chan, my saucy buckaroos. Let me tell you, if I look like this... Straight up, if I looked like this, I'd have way more people watching my streams. <laughs> if I looked even a fraction of it, like if my boobs were even half as big as these, and I look like this, you bet your, you bet your ass that I'd have more people watching. Because then I'd be a cutie pie 13, alright? Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Nut. I wish you looked like that, hot damn girl with a beard. I wish I had the beard. I like that you kept the beard. It's good shit. I have wings. Very nice wings. Those titties, though. Oh, God. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. I have to apologize. I haven't drawn in a while, so it was a bit rusty. As I've mentioned before, you guys never have to apologize for drawing fan art, because I always enjoy when you guys do something. It doesn't matter what it is. I, I always enjoy it, so don't worry about having to apologize ever, because I always love the content that you guys give me. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, Dane, and that's Stefan. Oh, that's nice. That's that's wholesome. I love it. Man, Stefan looks fucking hilarious. Is he in his undies? Is he in his dungaroos? Is he wearing his dungaroos right now? <laughs> okay. I can roll with that. Alright, I'll tell Stefan next time we're streaming, we're only going to stream in undies from now on. <laughs> oh man, I can only get hard from female Tony. Most people do. They swoon over daddy. I, you know what I look like? 
I look like goddamn Fix It Felix. <laughs> I look like fucking Fix It Felix right now. Was that on purpose? Did you purposely draw me as Fix It Felix? Because I straight up just look like Fix It Felix over here. Look at that. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. I'm straight up Fix It Felix, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh man, who else ships Tony X Stefan though? Wait, can we learn more about Stefan's undies? I don't know, it looks like undies. I get that you drew jeans, but I'm gonna call them undies. I strictly ship Tony X Dane. DJ Glitterbuns X Tony is the true OTP. It is. The true ship is is Glitterbuns and Tony. That's the that's the true ship. God damn it, fix it, Felix. Oh here we go. Oh, there's Solaire. Solaire's over here, that's cool. I love me some Solaire. Chat, they're like a flame ghost. Dingo is over here. There's a bunny. That's that's the author. That's a boy in a sweater vest. I don't know who that is. Uh, Daddy something? I don't know who that is. That looks like a big burrito with an eye. And that's a stormtrooper. I can I can roll with this. This is pretty good. <laughs> I fix it Felix with a beard. This is pretty good. Like, really good. I like it. I like that Dingo is very small. He's a very small boy. You know? Where's me? Oh man. That's the trouble. When you draw when you draw art that includes people from the chat, you gotta get everybody or people start getting upset. DJ ships Stefani, letting y'all know. DJ Glitterbuns does does do that ship. That's her that's her one true ship. I like the little chat person. Oh the chat person. Yeah, I like the chat person. He looks very neutral and just like the chat, you know? <laughs> Which is good. To Chris X Tony's endgame ship. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's just zoomed out here. Oh, there's more. Who's that? Oh, Stefan, I think. That's a dragon. That's a burrito still. That's someone else. That's someone else I don't know. That's a goo. I do like goo. And that's Dane over here is my oh that's Dane as a furry, I think. That's pretty good. You should name all these characters from left to right in the chat so that we can know. Ooh, stand user. Winter stand name, Winter Wonderland. This looks a lot. Standmaster Egg McNuggy. Oh, you're pointing just like Jotaro, that's great. This looks a lot like a Pokemon whose name is escaping me right now. What's the alright, Egg McNuggy, what's the what's the power for your stand? Put it in the chat so I can read it out. The tiger on the left is me. Oh, that is you. It's a really cool design. Uh, normally, stands have to have robotic things in them, or like bug-like qualities. But this is this is pretty good for a stand design. It looks so much. It reminds me so much of that Pokemon whose name I just uh, I just can't remember it. You know, Sergeant Blue, you take that back. He is <laughs> Tony. Isn't fix it, Felix. He's repair it, Rivera. Oh, that's fantastic. If I ever dressed up as Fe Fix It Felix, I'd totally name myself that. Cool design. <laughs> Tony doesn't know what his followers look like. 0 out of 10, unsubscribed. You do it, bitch. Unsubscribe, see if I care. J fuck, no, please. <laughs> oh my god, how dare you. What a chilling design. Let it be known that YouTube veil is fucking useless. Is it? Yeah, the YouTube thing that updates you. If you guys are wondering, Tony, how do I catch one of your live streams uh, and not have to stalk your live stream page, like some people have told me they do? If you go to my Discord through my website, I have a bot on my Discord that uh, will alert you every time I'm streaming. It alerts everybody in my Discord once I've started streaming, and it's it can the bot is unreliable. Uh, it's it's well, it's reliable in the fact that it will update you. The fact of the matter is that it will do that between five minutes to half an hour so you're either gonna show up to my stream five minutes late or half an hour late at one time it was actually an hour late he was in fact an hour late once which is bad Ooh, geez crest ultra white strip is he jerking it is his penis a crest did you just send me porn and just overlay it with a crest toothpaste the fuck, bruh? But nah, I do love me some orcs. Now let's see this, but with bigger nipples. Where's the bigger nipple one before I go on to the other art? Man, this is the kind of art that I get. Mmm, toothpaste. 
Have you guys ever put toothpaste in Oreos and then put the Oreos back into the Oreo container? If I was home right now, like if I was home for April Fools, I totally would have done that. Without question, I would have done that. Do you not remember this from that fanfic you read? Yes. Yes, I do. This is from the fanfic about Legolas that I read, is it not? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hot. Oh my goodness. I call this piece Ode to Tony. Uh, that's a giant dick. Yep. Jesus Christ. If somebody was to ever take some sort of class where they do sculpture, and you just make a giant dick and then name it Ode to Tony, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, who's this? What's going on here? What's going on here, boys? I had a dream where Tony asked where Tony asked me to be Chris's maid to get him to do Sonichu. I just scraped a layer of mold off of your stove. If you drip grease on my clean floor, I will end you. I'm going to pet your dog. Trash. So you're telling me that you had a dream where I asked you to go to Chris to to go to Chris and become his maid, and you just did it. That's dedication, not to Chris or to the Sonichu comics. That's dedication to me, and at which point that's just fantastic. That's that's good shit. It was a really weird dream, but I gave Chris a makeover. Yeah, he looks a lot more like old Chris, you know, like old Chris but with long hair, not Tom Girl Chris. I was like a Tony secret agent. Tony's word is law. Oh, Jesus Christ. What does that, sh what does that thing say on your shirt? What does it say there? Oh, that's just like floof above your boob boobaroos. I gotcha. Boop. Magic isn't easy, my boy. My boy. Is that Stefan? He looks real magic. Is that Stefan or is that Spicy Boy? That's definitely Stefan. Definitely not spicy boy, but <laughs> you made a great sacrifice. If, if someone could become a maid and I would get Chris to do it, I'd tell him not to do it because you'd have too much goddamn work. It's high spaghetti. The belt says slime. That is fucking fantastic. Man, you know, if I ever get big guys and I get like a panel, you know, at a convention, I think I'm going to dress up like McCree but do it like this. <laughs> I think I'll just throw spaghetti out of my pockets into the audience. Why not? It'll be great. Oh my god. That feel when you go down... You miss everything because your mom tells you to go downstairs. So much hate. Listen to your mom, kids. It's important. Your mom's old. She's probably very disappointed in the fact that you're watching another man or another human streaming Chris Chan and they just want to spend time with you and maybe change you for the better. Don't be upset. Be nice to your mother's kids. Get well soon, Tony, from Egg McNuggy. Oh, that's nice. It looks like the Snapchat filter. You guys ever seen there's a Snapchat filter that's just like flowers and just makes you look whiter? Oh, jeez. When I look at this picture, the more I look at it, it looks like I'm being eaten by a very red penis. And I'm okay with that. I look real snug. I look like I've realized that this is the most snug I'll ever be. And that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Tony, you're the only family I need. Oh. I mean, that's nice of you to say, but also very sad. You're a wizard, spicy boy. Spicy boy is the spiciest wizard. If you guys have not watched my Dark Souls 3 streams, uh, you definitely should. We have fun times there. Like, goddammit. My character in Dark Souls 3 is named Spicy Boy. He's got, like, goddamn thick-ass clothes. Also, I like that I'm riding a tricycle. I like the beep. It's adorable. Oh man. That's some good shit. I explained about the Chris Chan stream to some of my friends and they described Chris as Dickachu. Oh man. I love when people tell me that they've told their friends about my streams and about my videos and stuff. Because it means that I'm good enough for you to remember and then good enough to then through word of mouth tell people. That always makes me feel happy. DJ Glitterbuns as a robot. Hmm. Well, you've got a few things correct in this. Uh, DJ Glitterbuns, she's all about that music. She listens to music all the time. She likes a lot of music. You got that down with the music here. 
DJ Glitterbuns also, you got her shoes. She wears shoes that, that look just like that. Or like Converse, on high tops, I don't understand. Uh, and again, the unicorn horn, spot on, you know. She wore that, she wore that unicorn. I definitely am a robot. She's also a robot in real life, so you got that, you know. This is why I come to your streams, Tony. I'm being eaten by a red penis. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to insult your art, guys. I'm just trying to look at it. <laughs> Seriously, I love all the art I get. Tony, you can't say things like that if you don't want me to draw penile vor fan art. Who says I don't? Who says I wasn't trying to get you to do that? Who says I wasn't? Should have made her a Dalek or a Cyberman. Oh, man. Also, DJ Glitterbuns, all about the color pink. So you got that pinkish, like, purpley background. This is it's pretty, pretty spot on. She also has very rosy red cheeks. She's got adorable rosy red cheeks, so you got that pretty spot on on the robot, too. You're pretty, you're pretty set with this picture. You're very close. I wish I was this cool in real life. You are that cool. You're cooler. You're cooler than a literal unicorn rainbow robot. Good job. Listening to Papa Tony is like an angel screaming in your ear. So sensual. Well, don't you worry, because it can get more sensual. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> Man, you guys sent a lot of fan art. But uh, I try to keep the fan art sections of these streams around 30-ish minutes. So we're going to have to call this the end of the stream, guys. I hope that you guys had a lovely time. I hope that you guys had a, had a... I apologize that I'm sick, so I'm a little slower, a little less... A little less wacky on these streams when I'm goddamn sick and dying. But I hope you guys had a lovely time, and I hope to see you on the next Chris Jan stream.